and th- you did. You saved yourself a couple of times, and we've actually got a warm. We, we recorded that. We have to let you hear it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, We're not know, playing it on the air. We are not <laughs> playing that on the air. I, I think. I think the the best thing uh, is would be to be with Corey in the booth. I think that would that would be a cruise control See, and kind that's of thing the, because that's the thing. Corey leads us into into things right here in the studio. He exactly, leads into and that's the thing too. Is I'm more on the show. When we're sitting here, I'm more of the technical guy. I'm not the the chatty, you know, well, Corey got his nickname this weekend. I did? Yeah. Chatty? No. Mouth. Oh. No, no, no. You've been saying that forever. I know. That well, you know, I, I want to back up a little bit. Okay. Leading into last season, I remember the season before you didn't announce at Speedway. I was, was at that? Sunset. You was at Sunset. Mm-hmm. And I remember seeing on Facebook that you were going to be at well, I'm at Speedway. Mm-hmm. And I texted you at that point, and I said, are you coming back? Are you really coming back? And I posted on Facebook, welcome, Corey Penfold, the voice of the Willamette Speedway, <laughs> back. And and people went nuts. I mean, it's like, you, you I'm, I'm not going to sit here all day and, and pump you up because it makes me feel bad. But <laughs> we don't need, a, we don't need <laughs> but, to play to But Zico. having Corey back to the Willamette Speedway is is half of the show. It's, it's a good portion well, of the show. Having you there to call the races with your knowledge and the way that you call them, it's, it's superb, second to none. Well, I appreciate the kind words. To me, it's just making th- my whole goal. My whole goal at, at when I'm on the mic a- is to make an experience for the fans. Right, right. You know, what, make, keep them entertained. And what, I mean, and entertained I do some, and informed. I do some pretty silly stuff up there. I mean, and I that's what makes it fun. That, I we, say some things that <laughs> we do. We, we do. absolutely do. And Put it's, something on them. Ajax couldn't even take off. You, you know, <laughs> and you know, it's it's silly stuff like that that you know. Oh, and then you get down there with the kids on the mic and stuff. That, oh, that yeah. just that makes it fun for that makes everybody in the stand smile and and go how cool. That's how that's cool for, is as that? an announcer. That's what it's all about is entertaining mm-hmm. those fans and keeping them pumped up even when. Things aren't exactly... Let's quit talking about it and go racing. That's what I'm ready for, yeah. man. I'm just, you know, I'm sitting there thinking about it. The closer well, I, we get... Yeah. I need another week, guys. <laughs> I need another week. Uh, practice, practice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the booth. I got other things I got to deal with. Oh, it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be fun, no matter what. <laughs> oh, sorry. Somebody threw a meatball at yeah. you. <laughs> this show has gone off the heck. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Man. So, um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> We're just over an hour into the show. I think at this point we probably should take a break and recoup from all this nuts. But, yeah, let's start over. Um, <laughs> yes, let's do that. We'll take a quick little break. We'll be back in about four and a half minutes right here on Northwest Dirt News from the Jetstream Welcome Massage Studio. I'm Corey. Crocker's Cars is located on Sandy M Highway across the street from Walmart in Lebanon, Oregon. We've been providing the finest pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs since 1983. Crocker's Cars has been in business for 31 years, offering quality used vehicles that meet your needs. With our experience and professionalism and no hassle buying, customers really do come first here at Crocker's Cars. Crocker's Cars, where quality is the difference. Look us up on the web at crockerscars.com for a full line of inventory or give us a call at 541 258 2175 541 258 2175 Does your job, the weather, or your health have you feeling down? Jetstream Aqua Massage is your answer to feeling better. Our hands-free massage will leave you feeling rejuvenated, relaxed, and restored. Our machines will relieve muscle tension and soreness, reduce pain, improve sleep and circulation, decrease muscle spasms, and increase your range of motion. If you suffer from diabetes, you'll be amazed at what our machines will do for your circulation and how it treats neuropathy. Stress, anxiety, depression, and everyday aches and pains are no match for Jetstream Aqua Massage. Our beds will do more for you in 20 minutes than a traditional one-hour massage. And at only $1 per minute, we'll save you time and money. Find us on Facebook. Jetstream Aqua Massage. It's not just a massage, it's an experience. Hey, Corey, you want to tell me what we're doing around all these cows? We're at Stumbling J Livestock, Joel. Did you know that Stumbling J Livestock has been a family owned business since 2005 and supplies all cattle needs from 300 pound feeders to 1,300 pound animals ready for butcher? No, I didn't know that. Did you know Stumbling J Livestock buys any type of livestock year round and pays competitive prices? No. 
I didn't know that either, Corey. And I bet you didn't know Stillman J. Livestock buys and sells sheep and goats for pasture and meat. Uh, no, I had no idea. Joel, you don't know a whole bunch about cattle and livestock, do you? Well, honestly, Corey, not really. Well, Stumbling J Livestock provides all types of meat from silage-fed, grain-fed, even grass-fed. Yeah, really? Stumbling J sells butcher-ready hogs when available, too, Joel. I sure love me some bacon. My local butcher, they've got the best bacon. Those local butchers work directly with Stumbling J Livestock, and Stumbling J can butcher at a USDA plant to sell fresh meat straight off the farm. Hey, Corey, how do you know so much about Stumbling J and their livestock? Well, Joel... I read the script. Man, let's eat. I'm hungry. Oh, man. I just found a cow pie with my new boots. <laughs> yeah, I thought I smelled something. Don't worry. It'll wash off. Stumbling J Livestock Incorporated is located in Shed, Oregon. You can contact them at 541-409-5650. 541-409-5650. Do you wake up in the morning in a slump? Looking for a new career or change of pace? Well, let Northwest Trucking Academy be your source. Dave Stahl and his team of highly experienced instructors will give you the skills you need. Whether you have no idea what the brake pedal is or you just need a refresher course, Northwest Trucking Academy will give you a customized training program to meet your needs. In as little as four weeks, you can be on your way across the country with your new career. Located on Highway 99 in Tangent, Oregon, Northwest Trucking Academy will get you ready for a new, fast-paced, and highly rewarding career. Give them a call at 541-248-3461 or look them up online at nwtruckingacademy.com. Classes start the first Monday of every month, and don't forget to use promo code MOXIE. That's M-O-X-I-E, and receive $100 off your tuition. Now back to Northwest Dirt News from the Jetstream Aqua Massage Studio, live on Spreaker Radio. I wonder how many listeners we got out there after the after all the <laughs> after that last segment. We lucky to have any. I know, right? <laughs> it's been crazy. It, it, you know, this is this is what happens when the whole season is run its course, or the whole off season is run its course, and there's not a lot of content to talk about. We're just you know, it is what it is. We're having fun. Uh, from I hope everybody out there is enjoying it as much as we are. Oh, I know we are. Yeah. I'll tell you. But you know, uh, coming back. I think you show. guys are. I don't know if I am because y'all are making fun of me and my ability to talk. No, no. I no. crack me up making fun of you. <laughs> 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 no, we're not making fun of you. I was just trying to make a point of, of yeah, this. We're, is we're just giving you a good time. Something new for you. My feelings are hurt. Something new for you. And I think you kind of got a, a taste of, you know what? This is a little harder than it looks and sounds, Joel, and it is. It truly is, <laughs> because I remember my first couple nights, my first couple three, four races. I was just so nervous, and and I absolutely, I had to suck. I had to. It was just terrible, terrible. Wisdom teeth <laughs> coming out. <laughs> but you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about on tonight's show, because I think it's a huge thing for our area. These guys are just having too much fun in the studio. Um, we've got the you know um, coming to Willamette Speedway is the Brooks Shaw. For the Shaw Brooks Driving School. The, it's the Brooks Shaw Driving School, and it's going to be at Willamette Speedway on April 27th, April 28th. <clears throat> it's a thousand dollars. Bring your own car if you're attending both days. If you're not driving, it's a four hundred dollar fee. Spent some time talking with uh, Jeff Hansen. They had their car here at the show. About this school. very nice looking car, by the <laughs> way. Beautiful race car. Yep. Um, but talking with him and Virgil and. Craig, all those guys about the driving school was uh, they're exciting. You know, they they're really a big part of putting the whole thing on and getting it organized and getting Kevin Shaw and, and Wayne Brooks out here. Hanson's been a name at Willamette Speedway for as long as I can remember. Absolutely, he was a track champion. What seventy six, seventy seven, seventy seven. Yeah, him and good year. Virgil Hanson and Norm Davis with the driving. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, um, if you guys, <clears throat> this is the thing about the school, and I just I you know not knowing a lot about it, uh, I thought it was a modified thing. It's not. It pr- applies to everything. Basically anything on the dirt. But sprint cars. But sprint cars. Right, right, right. They, they, I mean, 
street stocks, late models, modifieds, whatever. Hornets. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't think that's why they're going to qualify. But, you know, I was talking I was talking to a driver at the show here this last weekend, and there, I said, you know, hey, you were part of that show. Give me some info on it. I want to be able to talk about it on the Northwest Dirt News and, you know, let me know what's going on. Give me some, you know, what you got out of it. He says, I could not believe I could not believe what I got out of that sh- out of that that whole class, the classroom portion, and then the driving. He says, I, he goes, I was on the track. I did two laps, and Wayne Brooks waves me in, <clears throat> and says, "You got to change this. This is what you're doing wrong." He goes, "I ran two laps, and it was and it was something like the brakes." Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. And he says, "Let me show you." So Wayne gets in his car, goes out, does two or three laps, makes the adjustment. Gets out, puts the driver back in. He says, I couldn't believe the improvement from that one little change. And he watched me for two laps. Yeah. <laughs> I was going, <laughs> wow. I that's, mean, that's, that's knowing your stuff. That's money well spent. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, what you think of the time and the, the time it takes to acquire that knowledge, the money you spend making mistakes on your race car and your setup to learn that, you're going to spend a whole lot more than $1,000. And we mm-hmm. talked about that on, on our driver live interviews at the uh, car show, you know, how mm-hmm. – how how easy it is to make the a backwards adjustment, thinking you're making the right adjustment. Yep. And, uh, and then you you can, you can get lost. You can get lost in your setup. Easy. Yes, it's one little mistake can be a big mistake, yep. and, and it can be hard to know. recover from. I've and these guys been there. Yeah. These guys are so good at what they do, and they do it so often. You know, their their race seasons are longer. Their race seasons consist of you know 100 to 120 nights of racing to our 30 if we're lucky. Yeah, you know, I mean, their their one season is four of ours, uh, so taking that knowledge and spending it, you know, I mean, a thousand dollars might sound like a lot of money, but you could buy a thousand dollars worth of parts, and your program didn't improve. All right, you cannot put a price tag on knowledge, and I'll tell you right now, this 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 school, the two days worth of the classroom portion, the driving portion is, if you've got the money, if you want to make your program bigger. You want to make it better, faster, for your sponsors, for yourself. Yeah, you gotta go. I mean, really, this is something that if you if you were able to attend, spend the money. And if you have any questions before it comes up, call Rod McCombs and ask him how much it helped him. Uh, there's a great testimony right there yeah. with him. Yeah, Matthew Dreger went, won the Strawberry Cup. Yeah, I mean, we had state <laughs> state champions. That attended that class, you know, that that are you know state champions. Track uh, two different track champions came out of that class last year. Multiple, I think everybody. I think that was one of the facts that was uh, one of the stats out of that class that was pretty impressive. Was every single driver who went to that class last year? Was there one that didn't win a feature? There two drivers. Been, there might have been a couple, but still, so there was twenty. Still, that's twenty twenty two cars but, attended. But even then, right. the the two guys that I know of that didn't win a feature last year that attended that class. They improved so drastically. I mean, I'm not going to name names, and I don't mean this we, we as a put down. Don't need to. But they were field fillers. Now they are contenders. Yep, yeah, right. Absolutely. That's my point. So even not winning a feature, 20 of the 22 entries of that class, that that school, won features last year. So bottom that line is, is everybody improved. Uh, yeah, that is impressive. Yeah. When you can take the knowledge of two men, and and spend two days with them for a measly thousand bucks, you're in your program. Goes to victory lane. Yeah. Now, here's the question. And this is something I've been thinking about with this class. What happens to the points battles at Willamette Speedway when someone like, oh, I don't know, a dominant face like Dustin Cady, Colin Weinbarger, Rob Maya, Darren Koffel, when they show up to this class, are they going to be stoppable? <laughs> you wouldn't think so. <laughs> They're hard to stop now. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, th- that's the thing. <clears throat> Everybody got better. Can mm-hmm. they be? Are they stoppable? Absolutely, they're stoppable. Anybody can be beat on any given night. Mm-hmm. You know, I think if, if those four guys you just mentioned are so much better than everybody else, and they go to this class, and these, the, you know, the 20 guys behind them all learn a wealth of knowledge that catches up to them, absolutely, you're beatable. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially if Trevor Glosser shows up. I, I don't think it's it's I don't <clears> think that's in the cards. I don't think that's gonna happen. You know, it'd be it'd be neat to see, but I tried to get him on the mic this weekend and man, that that didn't happen. That dude, that's that's harder than trying to get Kyle Yak to talk. 
it's that's not pretty easy. tough. 